So I'm working in the ICU today and I get a call saying this lady needs to come down for seizures. She comes down and she's actively seizing. I tell the nurse to grab some Keppra and some Ativan and then I go into her room and I see that she has a 22 gauge needle in her thumb. Not only that, I try to flush it and it blows and it already looks like it's halfway hanging out. So I said, fine, no big deal. She doesn't have access, I'll grab an IO. I have the nurse bring me an IO and I try to place it in the proximal humerus. But the only thing is she's a bigger lady and every time I try, the needle keeps popping out. I go to her tibial, but we don't have the needles for that. At this point, my mind is split in two because I know that we have to have access, but I also know that we have to control her seizures. And if you don't have IV access in a patient who's actively seizing that you need to control now, what do you do? Here's what we did. We gave 10 milligrams of IM Versed. Why not IM Ativan? Because IM Ativan has a slower onset. You could also do nasal or buccal Versed, and that's more rapidly absorbed when compared to IM Versed. Diazepam can be given rectally to stop seizures, but it takes time to turn the patient over and actually give it, and the distribution varies. That's why IM Versed is preferred if you don't have any IV access. So I gave her 10 milligrams of IM Versed. That allowed her seizures to stop long enough for me to get good IV access with the central line. I then put her on benzos and anti-epileptics and her seizures stopped. What's the takeaway from this video is if you have a patient who does not have reliable access and who is actively seizing, remember there are other options to give the patient to stop the seizure. Follow at Grit Nursing for more ICU pearls.